Well, welcome to a beautiful 90 degree day in Florida. So today's little project, we're going to upgrade our club car battery charger. The old power drive battery charger has seen better days and it seems like it's taking longer and longer to charge than it used to. So I got to thinking about an upgrade. So we came across this company here, Craftsman Golf. That actually is that's the website right here, craftsmangolf.com. Really good deal. This thing, is this charger is $229, fast charger. But not only is it fast, it's smart and it has a trickle charger to it. One problem we run into with this style of charger, I call it a dumb charger. All it does is just charge wide open until the onboard computer, the, the what's called the OBC, tells it to shut off. And once it shuts off, it's off. So if we leave this course, we, we travel back and forth you know, between Kentucky and Florida. So we, this cart may sit for three or four months down here in, in storage. Even though I have it plugged up, you know, when we leave, we'll plug this up, it'll charge up, and then shut down. But then it'll never recharge again unless I have someone come along, unplug it, plug it back up, then it resets. So that's kind of a problem. If you've gone very long, then your batteries go, go completely dead on you and may have to, you know, go to the expense of buying more batteries. But with the new style chargers, it's a smart charger. It'll charge them up, but then go into a trickle mode and maintain the batteries. I think it's got like three stage charge charging to it. So that's gonna be a lot better option for us. So that way we can plug it up for three months, come back, and we'll have fully charged batteries ready to go. We won't have to worry about coming back to, to dead batteries with this. Now I understand the logic in this. Say for instance, I mean, if you had this in a garage or something or a basement and you plug this up, you know, you want it to, to charge and you want it to shut down. You don't want it to overcharge. Like if you may have been around some car batteries, if you hooked up a charger to it and had it wide open, and you forget about it, you come back the next day and you got that horrible smell. You've cooked the battery; it's really hot, and you, you smell the hydrogen gas coming off of it. So that's something I understand the logic, but but back I guess back this car is 1998. So back in 1998, that's just the technology they had. So but nowadays we got something a whole lot better, and also the price to buy one of these new. The power drive new now, I think over $700. Even remanufactured ones, once it's been repaired, are around 300 bucks. And you can buy this, like here, for right for $229. Real simple to install. Is all we got to do is what we call an OBC bypass. OBC, the OBC stands for onboard computer, and I'll show that to you here in just a second. And uh, But before I do that, I'm going to do a little testing. I'm going to measure the amp draw of the, of the old battery charger. Then I'm going to make the switch. And then I'll do the amp draw of the new battery charger. Oh, and also, by the way, this comes with an 18, 18 month warranty, too. So that's a pretty, pretty good deal. And this works on your club car precedents 2004 through 2014, and also your club car DS 1995 through 2010. So this is a club car DS that we're working on today. So I'll show you exa exactly step by step how to make the changeover. Okay, so t test one, I got my little cord hooked up here and I got my kilowatt meter and I'll put a link to this kilowatt meter. Everybody should have one of these things. They're very handy. If you really want to know how much power something is using, you can hook this up and you can actually even measure how much an item is costing you because you can measure the kilowatt hours over time, over a 24 hour period. So you'll have an ideal house, how much, like you're running a ceramic heater or air, air conditioner or something to that extent. So I got the charger here. We're going to plug it up. And we'll see what a amp draw is. All right, it's been engaged. All right, we're going to push. Okay, we're already on amps. So we're pulling a little over seven amps, seven and a half amps. But you see the meter is showing a little over ten. Right? It's it's going through its its setting up here. I notice it does that when you first plug it up. It flickers on and off until until it calms down. So well, there you go. So it's showing a little over 10 amps going into the batteries, but here it's drawing seven. So now that we've done that, I'm going to uh, go through the change, bypass the OBC, we'll hook this up, and we'll see the amp draw difference. I think you're going to find a huge difference in the amp draw. Okay, so now it's went to red and red, and the fan is blowing. And when it gets fully charged, it'll go to green. You'll hear it if everything's shut down because it'll keep charging until it sees about 58 volts on the battery bank. Um, so let's check the amps on it. So you notice the difference? This thing is now pulling 11 amps on it. Because these batteries, the battery bank is, is pretty charged pretty well. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna put my meter on, I'll show you exactly what it is. 
Remember the old charger was only given seven and a half amps. So this should indicate this should get us a lot quicker recharge. So let, get my, let me get my voltmeter out and get some numbers. Okay, you can see here we're almost fully charged. If I remember right, I think it's at 58.8. There's a certain number it hits. Once it hits that number, it will disconnect. So here's just shortly, it should break connection. Because you can hear the fan running, it's doing its job. You can see our amp draw, our amp draw has dropped off to about four amps. Now just a minute ago I had 12 amps, so I guess it knows it's about ready to shut down. 58.3, 58.4. Well I just walked by and, it's, and it kicked off. And you can see the, I think it got up at like 58 volts, point something. And then disconnected. Because that annoying beeping just let me know I got over 30 volts on, on the meter. But it's doing a great job. I really like this, this setup. And I like how I got this set up here. And I just got to figure out a, a way to tuck my wires when I'm not using it. So let me get a strategy for that. And we'll be able to wrap this little project up. And just so you know, when it's fully charged and happy, you'll have a LED 1 is red, LED 2 is green. So that tells you know it's fully charged. And you're ready to go to the golf course.